Hey, this is Adam with uh, Tracktune TV. Yeah, I'm here with Cody Loveland from Love Fab. He's in the hey Vibrant guys. booth. The uh, hey, Brad Adams is here too. What's up, brother? Cody, what uh, what's going on with the uh, with the Pikes Peak car this year? Uh, we're gonna finish it. Yeah, good. Yes, <laughs> finally. <laughs> um, tell the tell the people watching what what do we got in the uh, in the power plant department here? Well, it's a full tube chassis that uh, I built myself over the course of a couple of years. Yep. yep. Spare time. Uh, LQ9 power plant, mostly stock, just uh, boost cam and some springs. Yep. Uh, low boost that makes 550 wheel, Jeez. 600 foot pounds, and it'll do twice the boost it's making now. Okay. So it should be seven, eight hundred horse at the wow. wheels pretty easily. Well, what uh, what trans actually you got in there? Uh, it's a Porsche G5052. Mm-hmm. That looks uh, that looks pretty fancy. It's just a yeah. five-speed. Uh, the H, H pattern, but it, uh, it'll get the job this, done. I this think. is the same basic drivetrain you had in the car in what 2013? Yeah, 2013, yeah. the the amazing fire year. When yep. that boulder jumped out in front of you? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried to be an earth mover, and it worked. Yeah. It worked. Yeah, we, so much earth moving at Pikes Peak. Yeah, this enough of that. <laughs> it, yeah. it, the fabrication looks awesome, man. The car, Thank the car's you. getting a lot of attention here. It, um, it really is. Um, GM Performance came over uh, do a to do a little blog interview. Uh, apparently, it's a top five PRI car. Cool. already so that Show was car. Yeah, I guess uh, yeah. I, I got that part down um, what uh, you said it just started up the other day and then you just changed the engine management system what do you got as far as details uh, injectors uh, ECU all that kind of yeah, stuff yeah uh, well f let's see in uh, August it started up again for the first time in two years yep uh, only ran on four cylinders because I left E85 in the fuel rails for two years so <laughs> talked to uh, injector dynamics and uh, they replaced the injectors gracefully yep, so very nice of them got the new injectors in and then once it started again and uh, uh, apparently fire does damage to wiring harnesses so <laughs> that whole thing and uh, it also damaged the Haltech box yeah. so Haltech this morning actually before the show uh, showed up with their brand new Elite 2500 system and oh, cool. plug and play harness and I installed it at the okay. show because it's plug and play very cool that's a full standalone harness full standalone harness full plug and play okay. I mean it's, it's awesome uses all GM sensors or yeah yeah it's designed wow plug into any virtually any GM motor and Very uh, cool. fire it up with a base map. So. so basically you're ready to start doing some tuning with it. Yeah, uh, as soon as we get back from PRI Monday, I mean, I could really yeah. basically turn the key and... Start building the body then soon, huh? Uh, the body is still in simulation. Um, yep. I've got uh, a, a fellow from an F1 team overseas who's overseeing all that and running massive simulations for me. Yeah. So uh, that's going to be... Uh, that that I think we'll be putting uh, fiberglass to mold uh, sometime mid, cool. mid January. Um, now, what's the body going to consist of? Multiple multiple pieces that bolt together, or how's that going to work? Yeah, we have uh, so far 14 different pieces, okay. uh, different floor pans, different wings, uh, canopies, fenders, Sheesh. all of it. So it's all carbon fiber. Uh, and r rumor is from the designer that. Um, it's it should do north of north of ten thousand pounds of downforce at two hundred miles an hour. <laughs> two hundred miles an hour. Which the car will never do. It's only geared to one fifty, yeah. but it's okay. gonna do it's gonna do well over five thousand pounds of downforce Jeez. at, at one hundred fifty miles. An What's hour. it gonna weigh? It gonna weigh in the two thousand pound range? Or? Uh, we should be sub two. Right now it's eighteen thirty wet. Okay. Um, and I've got some things I'm gonna replace for weight now that there's a little bit of a budget thanks to Vibrant for uh, yeah. picking up the title sponsor. So you know we'll knock another 50 pounds off from where it's at. Okay. Um, so I think we'll be sub 2,000 with the body. Very cool, man. Um, what uh, as far as your Pikes Peak effort? Uh, what's what's this year gonna consist of? I hear there's another vehicle. Yes, we're doing two vehicles this year. We're doing this one, uh, which I am probably not gonna be driving. Uh, I'm gonna hire get a hired gun in here. Um, Few different choices that I, that I want. Uh, I'll keep that on the down low until somebody confirms. Yeah. yeah. And then the other truck or the other vehicle we're building is a NASCAR truck. It's an old uh, old chassis. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a carbon fiber uh, body for that and a thousand horsepower Cummins motor <laughs> with uh, paddle shifted 48 RE trans. Uh, yeah. That's it's gonna not, be. It's just gonna be. That's just not silly. gonna suck at all. <laughs> no, no. So the truck should weigh about 3,500 pounds. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna have you know massive wings, uh, yeah. all that. It should make a few big thousand wang. pounds. <laughs> what? Big wang. Big wang. Sure, I, I like big wang, yeah, and I cannot tell lie. Tell us a little about the aero stuff you've been doing. Too. Yeah. yeah. So this last year, uh, you know, I'm still running Love Fab, still on that. It's still doing well. Um, but I've more or less uh, taken the time to learn composites. So that's uh, that's under the brand Affinity Aero. Yeah. Um, 
so that's that's kind of what the last year that's what I've been doing yeah just, a lot of arrow and a lot of fiberglass car, or carbon work I mean yeah yeah and it's it's done well I've had some decent sales out yeah. of it already um, this is a wing you built yourself I take it this is the first wing I built really um, it was really nasty at grid life yeah. and I actually we, we polished it and sanded okay. it it looks okay it doesn't look too bad no no it's not bad but uh, the car is gonna get a, a double element so this oh, one, yeah, this yeah. one will get sold or something yeah so cool big things happening next year man it's gonna it's, be fun it's gonna be a lot of fun we'll maybe I'll come be your crew chief again uh, come out we need all the help we can get come on out bring so, the podcast Let's that was it. the craziest trip of my life in 2012 man i know you're still uh, talking about but, it but uh it was a lot a long couple days well now there's two yeah. trucks yeah now there's two vehicles that pike speak thing is uh is intense man yes but, it is all right buddy we appreciate you coming on the little uh grid life uh or track tuned uh man there's too many things in my life right now i know <laughs> track tuned tv uh and i appreciate you bringing this thing out to grid life too so no problem got guys. a lot of attention there uh, we'll we'll see yeah. uh we'll see you again next year we'll be yeah. there as soon as we can all right buddy have a good time the rest of the show man all right thanks guys Thank you.